Welcome to Board Game Daddy. So I've acquired both Commander decks from Kamigawa New Destiny. So I'm going to open Buckle Up and Upgrades Unleashed. This will be the video dedicated then to Buckle Up from Kamigawa New Destiny. So it will include Kotori, Pilot Prodigy as Commander. And what's happening here is, is driven to win. Choose your commander and overcome both friend and foe in this fun and exciting multiplayer magic format. Each a ride with Kotori and her fleet of souped up vehicles then run your opponent off the road. If you can master all the ways to bring your artifacts to life, you will be miles away off the competition. So is this going to be a Fast and Furious deck? So Kotori is a pilot prodigy. And from a young age, Kotori displayed an uncanny talent for piloting. She, oh, she, she's a lady. She was, she, she's a she? Yeah, now that you mentioned that. Uh, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. She was selected to test an experimental Mac that had been fused with the Spirit, leading a strong friendship between Kotori and the Spirit of the Mac. When the project was scraped, Kotori and her Mac went on the run, determined to stay one step ahead of the authorities. Cool. So, I don't have much content from for and Kamigawa, and I haven't played any Kamigawa. Kamigawa deck or expansion or draft or whatever. So Kamigawa is a bit unknown to me and its mechanics. But I'm curious about this commander decks and probably that would be a good way for me to get into Kamigawa. So let's take a look. So if you're new to these things, you get the tokens here that you can use. This thing also comes out, but I, I've never found a real use for that. But these boxes, I really enjoy them. We, you can store your deck inside, as well as sleeves. The other thing that you find inside is the life wheel. And these one are personalized. No, sorry, not personalized. They are thematic for Kamigawa. Sometimes they're just blank. And there's no booster here, unfortunately. I was hoping to have some bo sample booster to open. But you have these reference guides that will help you with learning a little bit more about Commander and about the strategy of the game. And a more piece about history, about Katari. So from a young age, Katari displayed uncanny talent for piloting. She quickly drew the attention of the cyber operatives, which I'm clueless who they are, and was soon inducted into the fut futuristic vehicular exploration exploration program her father a preeminent futurist scientist futurist scientists that's difficult to read theorized that forcefully bonding a spirit to a mac would allow a pilot to synchronize with the machine resulting in greatly improved control and firepower who better to test this invention than the best pilot in the futurist had to offer his own daughter katara Kot katari this sounds a little bit like evangelion Angel in the, the anime. And surprisingly, Kotori was a natural. So to, through a series of missions, she established an emotion bond with the Kami housed inside her mech. Over time, they were able to synchronize almost completely. This is Evangelion 100%, resulting in performance far exceeding anything her father expected. With such a close bond, the inevit ine inevitable happened. Kotori was forced to change between her mech and to choose, sorry, to choose between her mech and her future. When her mech refused to deal the final blow against the defeated Kami during the ride, the Futurist ordered the mech to be destroyed and Kotori to be taken into custody. Oh, and Kotori runs away with the mech. So cool. So I'm just wondering how this will play out on the cards. So I'm really excited now, after I understand what is the story behind it, to really understand how these decks work with Max and Kamis and Spirits. This is a complete new area for me in Magic. So let's take the most of this, of this opening. By the way, while I open this, so if I just invite you to leave a like if you like this content and take a look at my channel because I have lots of content for Magic the Gathering. And it's just the beginning, right? Because I have more and more things to bring. So I truly appreciate if you could take a look and leave a like if that's the case and consider subscribing. So, Kotori, 
Vehicles you control have crew too. Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that there will be lots of vehicles. Look at look at the foil there. How the how that plays out. So she has a foil scarf. It's a, like a dig digital scarf there. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, target artifact creatures you control gain. Target artifact creatures you control gains lively and vigilance until the end of the turn, and just have crew too. So this will be the vehicles deck. Okay. I love when we, we can identify like the topic of the deck, the legends deck, the planeswalker deck, the sliver deck, the vehicles deck. So then I know what to expect and how to explain people what will happen. And then the, there's another commander here. Could a legendary artifact be a commander? Apparently it is because this is the secondary commander. How do you... So you need to crew. Crew 8. Okay. Crew a lot. So look at the Mac there. Is that the Mac that she was playing around? Doesn't have... Oh. Can be your... It says can be your commander. That's why. Okay. So you pay 1. You draw 2 cards. Then discard a card. Choose a 1-1 one, one cordless pilot creature token with this creature cruise vehicles as though as this power were 2 or greater. Uh-uh-uh. <clears throat> so draw two cards and then you create colorless pilots that that have two. Okay, crew eight. Tap any number of creatures you control with power total eight or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature. Okay, so you just need four of those scrappy things. And it's done. So mm, I guess by itself is not that great, right? Because you need four, you need to tap it, so you need to tap do it this four unless you speed somehow until you have eight and unless you lower the crew with the other cards in the deck so let's take a look at them and see what we have here aerial surveyor another artifact vehicle do will you have creatures to crew all these vehicles that's that's difficult okay there's a creature here Oh, and tap all creatures you control during each other players and tap step so you can crew faster. Iron Soul Enforcer. Organic Extension. Improvise. Your artifacts can help cast a spell. Each artifact. Uh, you are done. Active. Active. My base for a while. After you've done activating mana abilities. Okay, so after. So you need to do lots of things. So that's a board wipe. Yeah. Release the memory. Release the memory. Swift reconfiguration. Okay, this could be used either for good or for bad. Access denied. Wow, this is a good. Wow, you can create lots of colorless toppers and then you can crew Cyber Drive Awakener. So cool the art there. Gives fly to artifact vehicles. Buster Mac. Kappa Cannoneer. Katsumaza the animator. Research thief. Universal surveillance. Another vehicle. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Okay, so this is a very famous card, right? But the Kamigawa version. Although the artwork, this is from Kaladesh, right? Each player chooses an artifact creature and can win it from a sequence. So it has a onboarded board wipe. Indomit Indomitable Angel or Cangel. Artifacts you control have shroud. Wow, that's super helpful here. Wow, what's that? For Ilion 2. That's a big vehicle. I don't recognize the art here. Is it from. Coming hour. Shram the Edificer. 
the Shar ancestor Apostle Emery Lurker of Luck. She's a lady in the lake that gives you Excalibur. Oh, Jace is also here. That's Jace, Master of Ethereum. So I've seen this guy around a lot. It's related with artifacts, so he had to be here. Psy, Master Doctorists. And this one is very famous. Dance of the Mains. Anna, Ships Navigator. Classic, classic Anna. Cultivator Scarabat. Mirage Mirror. Copy stains. Colossus. Sky Sorin. Big, big ship. It's a simulacrum. The Weatherlight. Wow, the Weatherlight. Such a classic card here. Whenever Weatherlight deals combat damage to a player, look at the top five of your library and reveal a story card. From among them, put it in your hand. Put the rest in the bottom. So historics are artifacts, legendaries, and sagas. Wow. The weather light. That gives me so many memories. From Tempest. From Stronghold. And from Exodus. Okay, so now other cards from Kamigao itself. And not from exclusive to this deck. Crush Contraband. This patch, the generous gift. Mir Smith. Oh, lot, lots of of killer, kill, creature killers. Riddle Smith. Tough cast. Vidalcan Engineer. Arcanis Owl. Raft Caption, the ship's mage. You may play, you may cast historical spells as though they have flash. Okay, the signets. Found respect. Artifacts cost one less. Wow. Wow, such a powerful card. And common. Rider's Carve. Mirrors. And the lands. There it is, the lands. Cool. Okay, so then let's just take a quick look at the tokens. Let's see what we have here. From the token side. Oh, there's Katori as well in the hard plastic copy. Then Angel, Alphant, Mir, Spirits, lots of spirits. And on the other side, Topper, 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 Topper. I was admiring what is this top it looks like a butterfly. Pilot. This creature oh those are the, the ones that the commander produces, right? Another alpha. Well, I hope you have enjoyed it. So this was Buckle Up. <laughs> Buckle up. Commander damage, vehicle commander damage. And if so, if you if you enjoyed the content then don't forget to leave a like. Check the channel, subscribe, share it friends, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.